War is inevitable. Guy, I don't really need to hear your sass. You've made the right choice. Nobody wants to hear what Dan thinks. Yeah, who's good? <laughs> I'm Bombastic Cub! Okay, okay, and I'm like, alright, look, okay, alright, can we talk? I'm a wizard! We got that one, don't we? <laughs> Welcome to Split Push Podcast, episode one after our one year anniversary. Um, I'm Ryuko Tayuki right? filling in. Do what? I think that means 53, right? Math numbers. Yes. All right. Well, in that case, I'm Ryuko Tayuki. Welcome to episode 53 of our wonderful Split Push Podcast. Dirt Nap's dad decided uh, to take his final dirt naps. He is dead. Um, we killed him. Uh, Dan went to, for the pentakill on the family, and Beagle stole it. He was out of position anyway. Um, yeah. so, I, don't, I don't think Dad's ever missed an episode. This is, this no, is the first. This that, is the first. He tried to tell That's me he did, but... I'm no, sure he, he, he missed like a, a episode we did where it was just me, Dan, and Yuki. But yeah, we, that, that, that was that. the drunken episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. But it wasn't like an official episode. Yeah, exactly. That's it, was like it, was like a, it was like a 41.5 or something. Yeah, we just hammered out some of that season six patch note, if I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of patch left to do or something. Well, as we can hear the conversation rambling on here, uh, I have Guy with me today. What's up, everybody? The Beegs. What's up, everyone? Oh Dirt God. X Naps X Troll. Hey, what's happening? That's me. That sounds like me. And our mystery man, American Zombie. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, uh, this is what we're doing. No dirt naps, Dad. We can do whatever the hell we want. It's probably watching Game Hotty of Thrones. Potty mouth will fly. I, I told uh, <laughs> I told everyone that we're we're down a rambling man today. Oh, Game of Thrones is so good last week. <laughs> oh, okay. No Game of Thrones. <laughs> I won't throw no spoilers he's gonna, out he's there. Gonna but... edit all this out. Oh my god. Like, nope. Watch <laughs> that Garbage. shit. So yeah, American Zombie. Little uh, news here up front. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you are a community member of ours. For some reason, you find us entertaining. And you recently started streaming, and uh, I'd say it's pretty damn good. You're doing a great job. So, you know, people reached out, contacts were made, and uh, here you are as a guest. I think you're our second ever community guest as well. So, uh, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, well, first off, thanks for having me. Um, I've been around here, yeah, since day one, uh, when Split Push first started. Been seeing me in Discord all the time, and yeah, I just kind of finally... Got up the courage to put myself on camera and uh, see where it goes. Hell yeah. I was say you're one of our OG members. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's the og yeah, of the splittest yeah. of the push. I'm the one who uh, started hashtag make Beagle swear, but she's, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she's still holding out on us. Do it. Nemesis. Do it, Beagle. Do it, Beagle. Your, dad, your dad's not here. Do it. <laughs> Do it. He totally won't hear when he One day she is just gonna fucking blow our minds. Yeah, just say just, just give wait till I'm eighteen and you'll give us a little a lot of Oh jeez. Oh, she's stocking up. She she's gonna oh, blow yeah. up. It's gonna it's gonna be me. I'm I'm gonna push her over the edge one day. She's filling the <laughs> swear jar like Zong Kui. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll roll right into our games of the week. Um, I've been able to play more as my schooling is rolling down, so it's been amazing putting in more into my apparently 3,100 hours. I need a life. Um, How many hours did you say? Oh, God. It's like 3,100 and like 20. Hmm. That's pretty good. I know. He's like, dang it, I can't be pretty good. Where am I at now? Let I'm at... Where we're at. I'm at 2,073 hours, but I also have, like, two or three PC accounts, I'm guessing, sitting around from <laughs> oh, old games that have hundreds of hours on them, too. Oh, don't, I can make myself look like less of a less of a sweaty pleb. My playtime in Season 6, only 97 hours. Oh, what's mine in Season 6? How do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> you can click on Season 6. Oh, well, yeah, that would be. Oh, my God. Oh, That's season six, 140 working, hours. Right? Oh, you got me beat. But I had school. It's so, uh, Arthur came out, right? <laughs> yeah, ah. Arthur came out. It's true. Arthur's already diamond. Mm -hmm. So you got any, uh, 
hot games that stick out this week there, uh, Dirt Naps, Dan? How about that horse game you played in the jungle last night? Uh, that guy, stuck out to me. Guy, I don't really need to hear your sass. Honestly, <laughs> like, I healed you so much, it was your fault that you sucked. Hey, you healed me. I thought he was like, oh, what was it, 0 and 7? No. 0 and 8? It was 1 yeah, and 8. No. 1 and 9. Was, no, it was 0 it and was 7. 0 and <laughs> it 7. was 0 and 7. <laughs> <laughs> It was 0 and 7. Even the random <laughs> called you out, Dan. The random, oh my god, he called me out too. No, that I, was a I different didn't see game. That. Oh, yes, he that. said, what, what, oh man, what, you need to handle your mans. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Oh my god, that was so funny. Guys, mid laner kept going missing and going to duo lane. And the support goes, you need to control your mans. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking cracking uh, up for like 10 minutes about that. Every time I saw him die or get a kill, it was, damn, guy, control your man. Oh, man. This, <laughs> these dudes were pushed all the way up to like T2 Tower. With no wards, no nothing. Like You would see the jungler over there, and they would still be up there, 3v2 and forever, and then finally my mid lane would show up over there, and they were dead. <laughs> and they were dead. After I screamed enemy missing middle about 50 times. <laughs> Oh, well, I just played an assault an hour ago that was really fun. As Vamin, Big Baby is the best character in the game. Mm. Big Baby's so um, much fun. We were playing oh. with Dicey, me and Beagle, and yes. I built Blackthorn first item into uh, Hastened, or Boots into Hastened, Attack Speed Boots into Hastened, into Stone Cutting, into Xe. sold Boots for Kin Size. And, or sold my blessing, sorry for spirit rope, and sold boots for kin size. 14, 9, and 14. But I did as, it, as you do. a shitload of damage. <laughs> I did 35,000 damage in a 20 minute match. As that, was, that was the one I played gross. Pele, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because I traded you, that's right. Where is the game that I'm thinking? Up here. Do I have to go back? How many days? <laughs> How many days? How many days have I been alive this week? There it is. There it is. So, um, we were playing a couple Clash meme games. Do you remember this? This was like um, all the, right all the, the after day that, the last episode yeah. we did this, I think. Yeah, dude, we were trolling so hard. And uh, I did full damage Herc and went 22 and 10 in this clash in 23. 22, 10, and 23. Yes. Oof. Do you guys hear that thunder? I just Bam. felt the house vibrate. Yeah, me too. That was... I thought, I thought I someone fell a chair. Sure that <laughs> wasn't scared. Dan's vibrator going off? No, not this time. Yeah, uh, I, I, I felt like that. Rufor's <laughs> hammer, Hydra's, Jotun's, Trans. And just a fully stacked hide of the urchin for defense. It was pretty beautiful. That was a fun game. Yeah, it was the first joust we played that day, right? I'm like, we need to do some stupid shit. I think um Yeah, there it is. I played I played Sobek in that game. That was that was with Herg. Herg. I don't know where it went. Yeah. Oh. Yuki, do you remember that joust that I played Erlong, but we had that Anubis? Oh. Oh, I've I've never no, been so I, sad in my life. I I gotta bring up this last game me and Guy played. We played a Joust the other night. What game was it? Guy, do you Joust. remember our set? Our set. Who was I playing? You, you were uh, Merlin. I was Medusa. Did we win? Well, we won. <laughs> oh, I think I do remember this game. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I. Putting oh, yeah, the backpack on. God, what a bad build this set has. Yeah, that I'm was looking like... looking at it now. Bloodforge. Because oh. he went... He went X... He went like X and 3 in under 2 minutes. Like, I was like, oh, this is how this is going to go. Yeah, he was really bad. Um, He ended up 4 and 13. He was 4 and 13, and we won. I think he built a Golden Blade. Ooh. Yeah, last oh, item. That's what that is, a golden blade. What the fuck? <laughs> that's wait, the only wait, the only attack. Who was it that, that built the golden blade? Set. He was probably hoping the golden blade would stack as passive, but it it doesn't. Yeah, and also you don't build glad shield. Yeah, you yeah. build long shield. The, the glad shields. Yeah, 
that's from a someone was putting on Reddit a video of the Glad Shield like insta healing him to full. No, oh, and it was it was just I mean, a PTS thing they fixed. You know, I think yeah. pretty quickly, but like his three mm-hmm. uh, at one point was healing it to full, but yeah, they they nixed that real quick. Yeah, but he he walked at him, damn it, and <laughs> did things. Um, I I had a really good early game with Medusa. The they had a Shibalankwe who just outboxed the crap out of me mid because he'd started building uh, or he had rage stack. Um, but late late game. I just I remember that last fight. I just hundred to zero the Fenrir or the Shibalanka like right out the gate, killed the uh, killed the Geb. Poor guy. I'd get the, a a double kill or a triple kill, but guy would always die for it. I'm like, I'm sorry, guy. I try <laughs> the whole game. Mm, they was just diving me. Like yeah, Fenrir guy and... is always the one they dive. No matter yeah. what game mode we're in, guy is getting dove. It's because I'm yeah. an age. I swear they just yeah. like. Dive me no matter what. Yep. They've but it worked stories. out. Yeah, it worked out. Once they once they developed their pattern, I could kind of abuse it. I you could usually pop the Fenrir or Shibalankwe, whoever was furthest outside the fight, and then come in and clean up another kill or two. Um, we actually left. I think we were behind in kills on that one. I think we I were think. behind. Yeah, we won from behind. I think by like seven kills or something. So it was a pretty good W. Uh, the rest of the day was kind of back and forth. I tried Horus. Uh, me and him got to got to have a conversation. Got to get used to playing him. Uh, his old. So does Dan. <laughs> so does Dan. That old, okay, it was one bad people. game where uh, my mid laner trolled me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, now. You trolled me in the beginning of the game. You trolled me in the beginning of the game. You oh, trolled God. me. You weren't at my speed buff, and you ruined it. Kids. Oh, Kids. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I ran right what? by the speed Wait. buff. I do remember that now. Jesus. <laughs> it was the you worst because I had Vulcan, too. Me, I forgot to go put my torrent down. <laughs> because I I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Who knows? <laughs> Playing smite. Who knows? Probably Beagle. yelling at the damn dogs. Yesterday. Probably yelling at the dogs. Yesterday, they being really, like, I am they're being on really my bad last nerve with these dogs today. <laughs> I needed like four cones of shame yesterday for the Oh dogs. no, jeez. Wow. Yeah, they've been barking a lot lately. Why'd you feed them? I know it's summertime and we got our windows open, so every, uh, this everything they thing. see, they don't mm. smell, it's just everything <laughs> they see and hear they want to bark at, no matter what yeah. it is. Don't matter. <laughs> oh, wind! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, so it's so windy! So but Beagle, barks how are your games this week? <laughs> All it takes is one little bark and it's over with. Just one, yep. just one. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, I've had some pretty good games recently. Um, I don't know which one I want to start with. I'm going to start with this. I got stuck playing solo in a conquest last night. Ooh, and I was like, out, who though. the heck do I freaking play? So I, I was like, you know what? I just got that Pele skin from the Battle Pass. She's played in solo a lot. Let's do it. And I did. Twice. The first game they surrendered at 21 minutes. I was, I was only 2, 1, and 5, cause, I mean, most of the time I was in my lane trying to keep them from pushing and, the f- I got kills on, I don't even remember who it was actually. I don't remember. But, I was doing really well that game. We won. I was happy. The next game, I got solo again. <laughs> so I was like, alright, I'll play Pele again. And, um, <laughs> that game I did like we did lose but I did a lot better like I was well, you were fragging five. out early oh yeah like at the I was like eight and like two maybe three at one point I think but then you know like I, I ended up eight and five and so I didn't do that Dan bad, was feeding his but... brains out so oh and seven Yo, all right, all right all right how many <laughs> games in a row do you guys feed your brains out and I am just getting Poop we don't know what you're this. talking about. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a little liar. I know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, we lost that game, but I was still proud because I won my lane, and that horse would not come out of tower. He would not. He was so scared of me. Even full health, he would not come out because I'd just murder him. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, wow. Another game... Uh, let's see, where is it? 
Oh, yeah. This is one that me, Dan, and Dicey played today. I We were playing Assault, and I got Sylvanas. I was like, oh, cool. Sylvanas is, like, one of the few gods I actually haven't played before. But, I mean, I pretty much know, like, all his abilities and stuff just by, like, watching other people play him and whatever. And I went 5, 4, and 20. Oh, my God. The computer turned off my <laughs> I thought I lost power. Okay. Um. <gasps> <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> All oh my right. gosh. <laughs> I went 5, 4, and 26, and I was at one point, I was, at one point in the beginning of the game, I was 3 and 0, oh, and Dan's yelling at me, Beagle, stop stealing all the kills. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Dude, I was hitting all those freaking pools, and oh, it was Dude, so Dude, she was, oh my <laughs> god, she was pulling fucking everybody. Yeah, Dude. it feels great when you can get a Sylvanas pool. Yeah, like, I I, I, I learned not, today how much I love Sylvanas. I could not have ever myself hit that many pools in a game, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back when I played them a lot, I hit more pools. These yeah, days, I, like, I can't hit a pool either unless I stun them first. Mm-hmm. But yeah, well, I can do that, but like, she was just freehanding these bitches in. Like a fucking fish out <gasps> of water. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. She was just oh, reaching into a barrel plays. of monkeys, pulling out whatever she wanted. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who she plays a lot that would have a similar ability. Mm-hmm. Uh, Moose, maybe? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Like, but she doesn't, she doesn't quite stop the same, but... Yeah. But maybe Beagle does. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. You guys are lagging games? a lot, by the way, just so you know. I can still kind of hear you, but you are lagging a lot. I'm okay. just smiling yeah. and nodding mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, yep. it's good, so <laughs> I just guy. did it like without even realizing that that's what I was doing. <laughs> I've been pretty good this week. Uh, win some, lose some. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Hebo. What just happened? Uh, yeah, a lot of Hebo. <laughs> a lot of Hebo. Poseidon. I've been playing a lot of Gods with Cripples. They seem to be really well right now with a lot of Arthur being picked and with Horus now also Horus being picked. Sick. I yeah. hate everyone with a cripple. God, besides, he's got the biggest cripple in the world. Stop crippling me. Let me yeah. enjoy my game. And yeah, like we've been a, doing a, a lot of that, like, uh, Cupid, Poseidon, Cupid, Hebo combo. Oh, yeah, what was, who was with us? Were you playing that one night? What? I, had, I can't play You were playing Cupid, I was playing Poseidon, and we had another one. Was it Ardio? Oh, um, was that D- Dan play Ardio that game? Who else? Somebody else had a big, giant cripple. Mm. I mean, it had to I be Ardio. Was someone not? It had to be Ardio. No. Maybe maybe I played Ardio. So. I'm sure I did. I like Ardio. I don't know, but it's hilarious because they picked like the perfect team into it. It was like an Arthur. Yeah, they picked like uh, a bunch of noble gods. Oh, it was all like a bunch of gods that like yeah had dashes and You you know what you know what it was? You were on Poseidon, I was Ares, and my buddy Conroy was on Cupid. That's oh, right. That's okay. what it was. So I wasn't yep. There. Yep. That's what it was. Because I was like, I don't remember playing uh, yeah. and it, it was recently. Yeah, it was Erlong, Scotty, and um, Agni. Oh yeah. And I walked him. I walked him under tower for the kill, like minute two with Ares. <laughs> yeah, so just been doing a lot of that. Same old, same old. That's about same it for old. me. American, any hot highlights from this week? Uh, I mean, honestly, I've been hitting the lab with Set pretty much every day in customs. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm we'll get into that later, I'm sure. But uh did do a couple assaults. Um normally I hate assassins and assault until they <laughs> added this new lane and now I'm like, alright, you know, it's a little bit better. Yeah, but it made a big difference. Now that seems to be the only thing I get is assassins and assault. <laughs> um Suffer. Camazots. Uh climbing up there, man. I he's I used to hate him, especially with that, that pterodactyl voice pack. No. But, oh, sounds like her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but I, yeah, I like ever since new Aussie came out, I've been kind of messing with the Camazots and that just because he has so much sustain just to see how far I could push it. Not, right. Not saying it's viable in, in conquest or anything, but just to kind of play with it and meme out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, he never dies. Ever. <laughs> no, no Kamazon, especially if you get Soul Eater, he's really hard to kill. Yeah. Do you really know how to use his three, too? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, that hit little hop? 
Yeah. Um, that little yeah. hop restores so much health when you do it right. Yeah. We have, I've had quite a few games with Kamazots where, especially because I, I do a lot of duel, uh, playing Kamazots and duel has been pretty nasty. <laughs> uh, they just oh, yeah. wail away on me and I just, I don't die. I just out sustain everything. And then I get called a hacker on Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, same thing with Kerninos, his, his built in lifesteal, Asi, you know, Ikaval and mm. devs gloves or something like that. Just putting together a little bit of lifesteal with that and you live forever in duel. It's, it's gross. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't believe they left that passive intact. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's nasty. Um, I don't think game. people use it correctly enough. Mm. I think if As people in... used it more instead of just kind of sitting in the green or sitting in the yellow and whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, he could be such a strong character. Yeah, he's he's got a couple different items that can tilt one of his seasons over really hard. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, everybody knows about uh, was it Runeforge Hammer? Yeah, he, and, he, his slow, and his slow, chance. yeah. Amplifying his life steals really good. I mean, he's got so <laughs> much versatility in how you build them match to match. Like, yeah, I always like. I can't believe I, yeah, I can't believe I don't see him more than I do. Oh, I guess he's making a comeback here. He's one of the top hunters right now for like SPL and high tier. Yeah, oh, I need to go back and watch some SPL games. Um, I'm kind of <laughs> I watch the EU game too. That's a good call. Oh. Mm. Those wow. guys, SSG is kicking themselves. Like, oh man, what a fucking epic fail! Yeah, I saw that in the chat today. Ow, yeah. SSG. Yeah, well, you know, th- there's something to be said about being well rested, I guess. Right, yeah, like, they I probably just. Oh my god, they I thought they, they had trolling. it. Yeah, they thought they had it. I think, and they just crumbled so bad. When oh wait, we actually have to play this. Wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, everyone's, like, really throwing, uh, what was it, SSG under the bus. And I'm like, look, they they done fucked up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there's, there's I can think of, like, eight legitimate reasons, albeit kind of, like, how did this manage to happen across six people? Yeah. But, I mean. Oh, man. I mean, I don't know, bud. Just aliens. I, it's hard I, look, to I make any th- excuses for that. I don't oh, know. I agree. I mean, I, I set three alarms to get up to go to work in the morning mm-hmm. for a reason. <laughs> Well, I heard they e were. United, e United threw the big old troll tweet out yeah. after E United too. It said, "Unfortunately, after a miscommunication on our end, we dropped the first two games due to a forfeiture for being late. Unfortunately yeah. for SSG, their team just flat out never showed up." Yeah, I saw Ooh, that. Yeah, but I mean, they're not wrong. Oof, that's brutal. Yeah, yeah that's all they had savage. to do was win one game. They had to win one yeah. game. <laughs> Especially if they got Alpha Jacko coaching SSG. So he, he's yeah. he's got to be kicking himself right now after. Oh, I think he's kicking some ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, that's uh, that's rough, to say the least. <sighs> but yeah, uh, as far as the Camazots game goes, yeah, people need to not stand in a straight line when he's ulting. I yeah, I got like or near each other. Yeah, that it's pretty nasty how many triple kills I get with him. Between Assault and Joust. It's like they line up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And they had another game of Sasano, but, I mean, nothing too crazy happened there that was super special. And the fact that, you know, you can't catch me. <laughs> I, I love Sasano so much. Yeah. I, I, used, I can push buttons. I used to rage on him hardcore. And then finally I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm going to learn how to play him so I can learn how to deal with him. And then he became one of my favorite gods, and I'm like, I gotta eat some crow now and yeah. defend him all the time when my buddy says he's OP. No, he's fine. Perfectly fair and balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly fair and balanced. I, I, I think he's in a good spot of balance. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, he's really frustrating to deal with, but he's designed to be chase heavy. Yeah. So. That that change they made with the the ultimate a while back? That was a big change. Yeah. Murphy I, Zombie, oh, can, yeah. I, can I ask you a Sasano question? Okay. Have you ever alted and then blinked in and sucked people into the range that otherwise wouldn't have been in it to combo them with the full damage alt? Um, probably not on purpose. You need to try it because the damage is ridiculous. Yeah, I, yeah, probably not on purpose. That's going to be my answer. Uh, <laughs> I still, he, he's one of those characters that sometimes it kind of gets away from me. Like I'm like, oh shit, I didn't need to do that. You know, but you still get the kill anyway. And then, oh, yeah, yeah. no, I was totally on purpose. 
that wasn't a waste of an ult. That was yeah. kill confirmation. Right, right. <laughs> uh, you know what I yeah. most often do with Sasano ult that makes me mad? Is I'll think like, all right, it went off. And I'll flick to basic and then my my whirlwind just goes <laughs> off into fucking left field. And then my oh, team yeah. just stops and they're like, okay, okay. And I'm like, all right, look, okay, all right. Can we talk? <laughs> can we talk about it, please? <laughs> like, I've been drinking... N- not enough water, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was dehydrated. <laughs> my my brain timer is a little off. It needs that balance. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But guy can also attest to how good my timing is. What about that red buff timing the other day, guy? Come on. That shit was really good. We got our I red buff stolen, you. and we didn't have the timer. But I was like, guy, go check your red buff. It should be coming up. And what happened, guy? What happened? <laughs> It came up when I got there. Like, literally the second he walked onto the pad, buff spawned. And I'm like, ah, oh, who's good? What's up? <laughs> nah. I think, that was, I think that was the horse game. Yeah, who's good? <laughs> <laughs> For sure Not that was me. the game. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost our red buff like three or four times in a row. Yeah, uh, but we got that one. <laughs> we got that one, though. Baby. <laughs> Hashtag timing. Oh, the little things that count, guy. All right. That's right. <laughs> Big right, things so come in uh, small packages. And so you were talking about Santa. What do you think about him? Me? American no, Zombie. American American Zombie. Zombie. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking to Dan. Oh. Yeah, see, I thought he was talking Nobody to Nobody wants me. to hear what Dan thinks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Me neither, honestly. I don't even want to hear what I think. <laughs> um, Set, in, in my opinion, best god ever. I'm... Maybe not like balance wise. I know some people are struggling with them, but I'm having a blast playing with him. So to me, that's, I mean, that's the most important thing. They can buff and nerf him and get him where the balance needs to be later, but. Wow, that's pretty big. Best god ever, huh? Well, in, most fun god ever. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, in, in my opinion, he, he kind of reminds me of a combination of a few different characters I played in uh, other games. So, but yeah, I've been, I've been experimenting with him a little bit. I like building uh, attack speed, not all attack speed, but just, you know, heavy power and attack speed. I had a build the other day. I, I maxed out attack speed and my, my power hit over 450 in a 1v1. Hmm. You know, I, I shredded him and I didn't even have any pen yet. Like I purposely didn't build pen cause I just wanted to see what I could do with it. And, uh, yeah, it, it was it was pretty gross. I think I streamed it, and you can see my my jaw just hit the floor. I had to <laughs> had to pick it up and bring it back on camera. Ugh. Oh, that's great. But yeah, yeah what do you sometimes think it was like sometimes the meme builds you think of in your mind are just mind blowing. What you could do with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I uh the CC. I mean, he's got a slow, the twenty five percent slow that you can reapply uh, quite a bit. But yeah. I mean, I mean, does every god need CC? Really? No, I mm-hmm. wish, I wish fewer had it, or fewer had hard CC. Yeah, we've had long discussion about that, but it's his play style. Like he, he is, he's interesting in a in a very weird way. Usually, it's very clear if a character is supposed to be an AA or like power power pen focus when it comes to assassins. Mm-hmm. And he's he's like almost dead down the middle. I think that he is a power pen focus, and everyone's thinking too much into the attack speed because you can get two point five in the alt without. But he's attack speed. he's got two. I mean, his passive is basically a steroid. His alt another steroid. Yeah, right. I'm not <laughs> saying like no attack speed. I'm saying like power pen with a katana in the middle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like attack speed boots and katana. Yeah. I was I was running in some jungle practice. And it was a lot. Yeah. And it like gets it was... your it gets your passive with ten stacks up to like two, which is pretty sick for like an attack speed without having more than t- like two kind of items towards it. Mm-hmm. So but... that's like a good base to go on. Plus, then you have all that power to back up that two attack speed. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of attack speed items right now that have a good chunk of power on them, like. Same similar stats to to the brawlers beat sticks and stuff you know that we see. A kaival yeah. comes to mind. <laughs> that yeah, thing a is kaival insane. comes to mind when you say the word power. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the thing can hit like a truck. 
I'm, I'm building it on almost everybody now, whether they're, you know, an AA god or not. Yeah, if you have the room, it's <laughs> the same with Aussie. You can get away with some lifesteal that you wouldn't normally be able to fit yeah. in. Um, and then his ult, I, I, I love his ult for the fact that it's like the first steroid ult mm -hmm. in the game. I mean, you could count Terra, but that's more of a defensive healing thing, and it does damage, so it's not really, but like his ult is just like a full on steroid. Yeah. Which is crazy. I, that's awesome. We, it's, you know, everyone complains about, oh, you know, high res reusing abilities and blah, well, here you go. And it's not super obvious when he uses it. Like, yeah, it's kinda, maybe when people of... get a little more used to, to seeing what to look for and stuff, but like a lot of times, like you have no idea he, he's using it until you're like, oh shit, where's my life bar? But he, why are there 40 clones <laughs> around? It? Yeah, that they all come rushing at you. Who the hell invited yeah. Gara and why am I dead? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Uh, um, yeah, it's nutty. I, I think with Set, I, I think people, it's going to take a little bit. I think it's going to be one of those gods that like people are kind of eh, on, and then in like a month, it's going to click for somebody. Like some pro is going to come out and just destroy it, every, someone with them. And then everybody's yeah. like, oh my God, he's so bad. You know, like I think I think there's definitely potential in him, and I hope Hi Res doesn't go too crazy and start making changes on them yet yeah well we've also got the the slower patch cycle which will help with that too because mm -hmm. we're not seeing patches every two weeks now we're seeing them every month that is so true. if it took them a month or two to do any real balancing before it's going to take them you know mm -hmm. two or three now yeah i, I think it's going to be come down to the clones uh how how you use the clones is going to be what separates you know the good sets from the great sets mm -hmm. uh, yeah because just the the placement of those, the teleport, all the different things that you can interact with them, like you kind of I've already chase. thought of like my own one little thing that I've liked so far is I'll start blink on set, and when I go in on somebody, I'll put since you get two charges as a clone, I'll put one like behind the wall that I'm blinking over, and then I'll put one on them, blink over, and use my one, but then I still have my three to teleport to the one on the other side of the wall if I get into trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and because prediction. it's three, you can teleport any time during it. I don't have to worry about when I activate it necessarily either. And, and he's got a real fun play style where you can you set up the clones in a way like you use them, but you put them in a position to set you up later. So mm -hmm. when you're done dealing with one guy, you can teleport and you're on somebody else. And I mean, that, yeah, that's, setting up the dash afterwards. That's is... where you set up one kill turns into you know three kills. And that seems to be my sweet spot with him, where I'm I'm getting racking up triple kills and joust like crazy, and my friends are just kind of like, "Well, fuck me, I'm not playing today." What the <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Seth. Thanks for the free uh, free low. Yeah, he's yeah, I yeah, but that that's my verdict on him. I think he's one of the most fun. He's very different. I I just hope they leave him alone for a minute to let everybody settle. Yeah, I think they will. They're doing. They've been better about not doing crazy I noticed, changes really quick. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Thought you were going to be done. <coughs> so that's good. Yeah, I, I think he'll. I don't think his numbers are overtuned. If anything, they're a little undertuned, mm -hmm. and some of the interactions are 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 weird, like the clones. But that again, that may just be again, like you were saying, that he's he's new and people aren't used to it yet. Once people get the idea yeah. of like using a clone. Slashing the clone through them, teleporting to the clone, you know, in the direction that the enemy's running away down the lane or something to catch back up. You know, you, you can kind of get away uh, with not having that hard CC um, if you set up your chase. Because those clones go a long way. Yeah. And, I mean, if they did do a change, the only one I'm like, I really am hoping they do is I want to see my clones through the wall. So if I put one yeah. over there, I can use it more effectively because... Yeah, in that searching, clutch moment. searching for it with your three is annoying. Yeah, was that the red yeah. line? No, <laughs> can I go? Can I go? No, I'm dead. Right what, now, was know? that just in a wall, or is that my clone? I don't yeah. know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like I, I've I've gotten a little used to like okay, I kind of know the range of where I put it to my teleport where I can engage that way, but that's when I'm not under pressure with somebody chasing me down. <laughs> so yeah, when you're not trying to save your own save your own ass. Yeah. And then Horus came out, man. Horus. Yeah, he's the one I'm iffy on. I know everyone else loves him, and I'm kind of like, eh. Okay, so. Everything, 
he's super strong except for his ult. His ult's just weird. Yeah, I think his ult channel time is interesting. Obscene? Interesting. Because <laughs> if they shorten it, it's bullshit. Yeah. If they lengthen it, it's even worse. If they keep it the same, it's I'm fine. I'm okay. But like, I'm okay with the channel time. God, I just I don't know. I feel like oh, I don't know. I can't quite yeah. grasp him yet. I feel like but, he dies more often when he ults than he doesn't. Like yeah, yeah. And I feel like it's really awkward in any real situation to get your team to come with you. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't find that hard. That's that's a communication thing. Like you've got again, you've got a lot of time to be like, oh, let me get to him. But it's he's got no immunity on landing, mm-hmm. so like you just land and get in. A lot of times, if you, you ult in and you just get popped, yeah, because there's a giant red circle. Like I'm almost okay with his channel time. I wish it were a little shorter. It's the travel time. I mean, you've got a okay. solid like two seconds to know he's coming, so you just back up and drop a whirlpool cracking on him as soon as they show mm-hmm. up, and you just pop anybody that comes with them. You just walk yeah. out of it half the time. Like I'm not using. A god with dashes, you just leave. Yeah, and and you're gonna get out most of the time. And then if he's trying to, use, it's not an escape tool at all because you're yeah. you're dead before you go. <laughs> you yeah. just a punching bag and right. Do not use this to escape. Do not use this in the middle of the lane. But yeah. in in like a, like I see what Dan's saying, where it can be super broken, but at the same time, as far as like a dropship play. We got Giannis been doing the same thing forever on the back of his Kamehameha. You know, I, yeah. I don't know if the, the, the crazy travel, because he doesn't cover the distance Giannis does. So I don't know if that charge time is really all that crazy. Mm-hmm. I just think maybe even if he flew a little faster oh in the air. He, he points. He's like, I'm going there. And then you take forever. <laughs> yeah. Yo. And the camera's weird, like, yeah. uh, and the camera's weird, like, you're, you're, like, still looking normally, so you're, like, looking ahead, and you can't really, and then if you tilt your camera down to look below you, all you can see is your fat ass. Yeah. And if they yeah, got, like, we, a uh, dash or a jump, I mean, they're gone. You're not gonna hit them. Yeah. If they're paying attention. It. You know, maybe in a 5v5 where, like, people are focused on other things and you don't really realize it, but... Uh... Yeah, I think uh, me and you played one in a joust the other day, and... He ulted in the middle of the lane, and like I was playing Hebo, and I water jetted him three times before he could ever get his ult off. Yeah, yeah. And he was dead by the end. I mean, yeah. You're not eating three of those to the face. No, no, nobody's doing that. Using set, I just bopped him till he dies. I'm stacking my passive off of him, and then I go kill his buddies. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and he doesn't travel far enough. Like it's not like a you're you're giving up holding still in the middle of your solo lane to go help mid. It doesn't go that far. Mm-hmm. I think it's such a weird interaction how they double their stacks with each other. Yeah, it's, it's, that seems it's like a, a really rare thing. Yeah. yeah, I think League it's of Legends did that a crazy. bunch too, where like passives interacted with certain characters and stuff. Yeah, but I'm like, I just I'm thinking about the rest of his kit's fucking okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just think his okay. ult needs something. Either more movement speed in it, mm-hmm. or, like, uh, I'm not sure. I, I think just speed it up a little bit. Or be able to walk. Yeah. Like, not usually just move. What if you could just wiggle around so you could be squiggly for those three seconds? Because mm-hmm. if you're if you're juking, you might very well easily get those three seconds. But it, there is something to be said about objectives. How are you going like, to juke? And, uh, I guess when you're channeling, though, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the yeah, objectives we did that we uh we won by by hor- get, uh horrors dropping in and go- killing their titan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, or I mean, fire giant plays. I mean, yeah, you can don't have a t- you can you get out of there, but I mean, that's when I you got to choose: do I fight them coming in like this, or do I give up my objective? Yeah, I mean, there's also a couple of ways to look at it because I mean, that was the big thing. Is I'm like, this is clearly meant kind of as an objective steal sort of thing. But you and whoever you're pulling has to get close enough for the ult, take the time of the channel, get over there, and hope to steal it after, by the time you get there? I mean... And you have to hope that, you know, the other team doesn't just secure it and then kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I just, or do just, both at the same time. I pretty much ignored my horse ult on my team, pretty mm-hmm. much, and just didn't even worry about it when he was ulting on my team. 
Yeah. No. I mean, it's just not worth it. I feel like Horasol is like a tank engage kind of thing. Yeah. Now, have you guys yeah. tried out uh, Mystic Mail as far as both of their passives go? Yeah. Did, I know it doesn't stack sets, which kind of hurt my inside a little bit because that was my big plan. <laughs> you know, because it works on Guan Yu. Like, you can use yeah. Mystics to stack your passive on Guan, but it does not work on set, which is probably for the better. Um, <laughs> but, but it would have I mean, been days, it would have been fun. It probably did in PTS. It's like, oh no, 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 we can't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but will it? Let's be fair. But will it? Guan stack? all the help we can get. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I have. I'm. I'm really mad at Guan. Um. But does it stack? If if an enemy has Mystic, will it stack the Horus's passive for his protection? Oh, I'm, I'm uh, almost sure I, it will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It 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 very well it's might. Damage uh, from a god. That's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I haven't looked at the interactions with his passive yet because you also got to think Golden Blade. Um, yeah. Do, I mean, does Crusher stack it? Do you gonna get a good if someone hits you with an auto and, or an ability and you get two more stacks off the dots? Because you got to think about some scary shit there. You get twoed by a Medusa, you're get or uh, one by a Medusa in with Crusher, mm -hmm. and if it does, you're looking at like six stacks from that one auto. Yeah. Huh. More stuff for the lab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I hope they give something to Guan Yu though. I got stuck in a match for ninety minutes not too long ago playing Guan Yu, because Op Watch, no offense, guy was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Best god ever. <sighs> okay, I won't rant. I'm not gonna go into that rant. I think I've done that like six times. <laughs> the secret, the secret to Guan is canceling the ult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone sticks on the horrors trying to trying to hit all this. I'm like, now nah, just cancel. Let my guys kill it. All right. <laughs> like I can't. I'm not a fan of channeling warriors like Nike and Guan. I just feel yeah. like they're just it hurts so bad for their. Yeah, they can't do much. But I mean, they insist that Nike's not in a bad spot. But that's a oh, she's really annoying. <laughs> it, it's it's her survivability. It, she can sit in there and soak up damage for about a month. Yeah, but she ain't doing anything in that period either. No, she's just <laughs> something to swing at so your team does all the work. Yeah. You should ask Beagle about uh, Nike because she loves when people go Nike damage. No, I really don't. It's annoying. <laughs> I had to deal with a damage Nike support who literally two, three hit me all three times dead. That's it. Ouch. Like, literally all my HP. It was so yeah. bad. Yeah, that's great. Wasn't that an assault game? No, that was a conquest. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that was conquest. <laughs> yeah, damage Nike support. Yeah, the and Nike support just freaking one shot her every time. It was hilarious, oh, yeah. but sad Ouch. at the same time. <laughs> it was not hilarious. It was well, awesome. Sounds pretty funny to me. I mean, not when the funny, support is one shotting you, that's kind of funny. Shot yeah, pretty at funny. some at some point, you just gotta laugh at that. <laughs> now, how, how do you guys how do you guys feel about Horace's cooldowns? Do you think you think they're too long? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like when I play off. Horus and I'm fighting in like a team fight, I feel like I'm useless after the first two, two seconds. Yeah, yeah, his cooldowns are pretty bad. Like I get the 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 cooldown on, but I get to use those fucking epic looking basics. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the cooldown on the one, I I think's okay. The the two, what is it like? It's like sixteen seconds, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, mm -hmm. ugh, that's rough. Because the one, because <laughs> yeah, the one's your wave clear. Yeah. And conditionally, because you have to hit the god to get the line attack, right? No, you don't have I'm to hit the god no. to get the line attack. Or you just have to hit somebody? You still no, you don't have to hit anybody, really. You just don't get that bonus, I think. It, yeah, the knock-up yeah. damage is the bonus part of it. Yeah, that yeah, really yeah. Oh, that's, the, that's the two, right? No. Did I get the abilities backwards? No, it was one? No. The one does the knock-up around and the, the basic. Right. So, like, it does the AoE if they're knocked up, then they get the basic. Extra basic yeah. damage. On yeah, it's tier damage. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all like, at level 1, it's 18 for the updraft, and it's mm -hmm. 16 for fracture, and 16 for protector surge. Yeah. That's, a, that's a lot, that's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. but, his, his early game, his early game in Conquest must be awful. That's why I was so bad in jungle, my cooldowns were always up. You can't clear. Mm -hmm. But and he doesn't have a cleave in his, in his autos, right? Mm-mm. Even mm -hmm. though it looks oh. like he might should probably. Oh, that's oof. But he can't. He can heal his minions. So there's. I mean, there's something to be said there. But I don't know yeah. if it makes a difference. Hit the long. Oh. I mean, that's still 16 seconds. I can 
take chalk into the lane and annihilate the wave and out sustain all of that. I'm just kind of. Oh yeah, I mean, wow. I feel like he's a guardian. Oof. Yeah, I'm about to say he's. I don't. I feel like horse is definitely more of a sport. Yeah, he fe- he feels very much like a guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His cooldowns are even long for that though. I mean, Geb Shield's only like 16 seconds. I, I I bet he was designed as a guardian, but then they're like, wait, people are constantly saying that we need to have a warrior that's not just a dude. <laughs> so they will put him as we'll say he's a warrior, but secretly he's a guardian. Yeah, I thought that about uh, <laughs> Baron. I was like, I swear Baron feels like he was supposed to be a support. Mm. Uh. Um, I don't I don't really like Baron's support. Baron, not Baron's kit is. without the scaling is a support kit. True. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What, don't you like Beagle? I, I just, I, ne- I never liked when, like, basically, I just really don't like mage supports in general. I mean, sometimes they work, but there's a lot of times where they don't, like, and yeah, I'm Yeah, if you're going mean, with a warrior support, so... you're looking for aggression. Yeah. But he does have that cool way of he can, you know, jump in their back line with his one dash that stuns. Yeah. And then immediately turn around and dash back to his back line to help them out. And it kind of separates people if if done right. You know, where yeah, he pops, really some gets that two two dashes that he gets out of that can make for some yeah. real interesting plays, but yeah, again, that sure might just that. be a time thing where we need people to kind of get used to his play style. I feel yeah, like sure that cleave damage too on that fracture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like a couple times, at least while I was playing Horus, even though that game didn't go so great, that I did some cool things with the double dash and the all that. Like there were times where I would go in and stun somebody, but I knew that as soon as I did that, someone would go on my back line. So I just turn around and three back and then use the one to peel for them. So yeah. like, yeah, yeah. High mobility support is an interesting yeah. idea. Definitely feel like yeah he could have been a guardian. I mean, he's, yeah, he's got three different mobility tools, and then yeah. one damage tool. Well, two damage tools, I guess technically the one the dashes does do. Yeah, yeah, plus he the a, dash he, does he gives, do a pretty good amount of damage. Yeah, plus he gives. You know, I I kind of like that they're they're spreading the roles though, like a warrior support and a, mm-hmm. yeah, that's cool. Versatility is a yeah. good thing. Options, all options. Yeah, until support Fenrir happens again. Huh. Well, that's <sighs> just always a thing. <laughs> I watching those games. I mean, no disrespect to Aurora, the guy's amazing. But watching how long that they were able to just defend, and they no one could push up because of the way that Fenrir was, uh, it it made me hate dogs for a little bit. <laughs> I was like, this should be over ages ago. I'm yeah, hungry. Def- I don't know how long they defended. It was like what, six fire giants. Was that right? Yeah, yeah. And they just couldn't do anything. I mean, it's I mean, it's irrelevant because it was like almost six. It was over six months ago. But yeah, still, yeah, still like stings a little bit about Fenrir. I'm still kind of. Oh, did we talk about the Dibios tricking him into thinking he ulted last week on our episode? Uh, oh, no. the fake out with the X. The fake out with the Hades, the Hades special emote. Oh, yeah, that, oh. that's dirty. Yeah, that'll probably see a, a, a competitive or a, no, a nope, it's, it's not. That, a, nope, it, it happened a week ago, and it was like, wow, well, they're gonna let it know. No, I'm saying they're probably gonna fix it because like, oh, they they'll probably skins. they need to ban the skin. Yeah, I think or any skins like that, the Nubus also is like that. So what what <laughs> yeah. happened? He, uh, they were like doing fire giant or starting fire giant, and Divio's hit the special emote on the Hades. It makes it look like he's using his ultimate, yeah, okay. his ult, and then baited him in. And when Dig but came in, he hit him with his ultimate. Jeez, <laughs> oof, that's salty. But like again, that's strategy, right? Yeah, honestly, it is. I mean, if it's yeah. if it's allowed at the time, I guess you got to use all the tools available to you. I don't think yeah. it's anywhere near. It is pretty know, rough. It's not. It's a little bit of disrespect, but you know, that's mind it's, games. I mean, that's part. You of You gotta win, and if you and still, play it's still mind not games, the Wukong skin. You know, it's still not as bad as SSG blowing a two zero lead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. well, now, if you that Hades emote does the same thing as the tier five Anubis, right? Right, right. I would yeah. be so pissed if I bought that Anubis skin, and all I really had to do to get that emote was <laughs> go pick right. up Hades, like. <laughs> I feel like that, that's kind of, because that's a big deal. I mean, it's a big global thing. 
Yeah. So tier fives yeah. get their their fancy stuff. I, if someone else got it, on something for like a. I'm kind of like, salty that the tier five I got was the Uller, and all I get now is a second global emote. Mm. <laughs> and like, it's even limited now. You can't even spam it like you used to. Yeah. So yeah. like, what? What? Fuck you. Like, thanks. Yeah. I kind of think we should only see default skins and SPL play or competitive play. Mm. Or the Bologna Zero. tier five, because I can never see my dragon. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or like like recolors and stuff, maybe even, but like. Maybe recolor, but there's a lot of other advantages skins, to using like certain skins, skins that have. fine, I would think, but like. Yeah. Really quiet cues on their abilities and. Or yeah, yeah. Diff- some Kerno skins, you can't really tell what stance they're in. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why I use the Krampus one. <laughs> yeah, that one's the hardest, for sure. Yeah. You know, since you're talking about skins, uh, we were talking a little bit beforehand about the, and we're going to bring it up here, is the loot box system, even though it's not a, I use the term loot box very loosely uh, when we're talking about Smite. Uh, none of it is supposed to affect gameplay, we'll say, because here we are talking about, you know, emotes and like the Wukong, the Shadow Summon or whatever it is, Wukong, that uh, that you can't really tell what form he's in in his dash. Um, but they they ban those from competitive and, and ranked and all that stuff, so that's not too bad. But they don't give you any competitive advantage. You're not buying a better weapon. Um, this all comes on the heels. Uh, guy was bringing up that the they were talking. They're finally in here in the states bringing up the the gambling law issue with it. And is a loot box gambling? I mean, personally, I don't think so. But apparently, a lot of people do believe so. Apparently, the government wants their hands. In the loot boxes. This is like a... I think I've seen some words it was $30 billion a year industry. Oh, like yeah. Transactions and loot boxes. Yeah. So, I'm sure. I know a lot of people that get loot boxes of different types and shit. I mean, yeah. I buy everything of Smite. I mean, I'll be honest with you. But uh, that's I my mean, choice. That's my personal choice. Ain't. Like, And I see it a couple ways. And, and this is why I think it... Smite's odds aren't terrible, um, and it's finite. And, and what I'm saying is, is, like, if you play Call of Duty, you could get the same camo for a weapon a thousand times if you kept buying their their uh, right their loot boxes. And Smite, it's finite. If you have it, it will not come up. Period. And sometimes, a lot of times, when we're talking about the when we're talking about the chests, it's if you don't want to, if you don't want to put into the loot box, or into the the chest system, you can buy as, as the individual skins. And because there's a finite amount of items, if you like the game and you're spending money on non RNG skins, right? You're you're getting the recolors and the ones you can buy direct and the ones out of the different battle passes, Odyssey, Blardy Blardy, go down the list. I mean, you it narrows it down quite a bit. Where I know for me and Guy, a lot of times there's the new skin and like maybe one or two others. Oh um, yeah, it's always the puff thing they throw in there. The fucking yeah, that's that's kind of irritating. That's all. I, I wish, every time now. <laughs> yeah, I wish the non. I wish there were chests for the non skin stuff. Um, but and also like these skins. What would they if the, if it wasn't RNG? Oh my god! And you know how mad everybody direct, would be. There would be nothing but these skins all the time. Yeah, well, it would also be. Uh, I, I feel like they they would be more expensive. And they are like you'll see skins that are in a chest and also for direct purchase, and it's like it's four hundred direct tr- for direct purchase, but the chest is a two hundred gem chest. I mean, Smite and High Res do a lot anyways. If you look at other MOBA games, they make you buy each individual character. Yeah. I mean, and Smite offers you the God Pass, would give you all the characters, future characters. Yep, for fifteen to thirty dollars. Right. I mean, and they give us a lot of free stuff. I mean, technically, yep. you don't. They're not making you buy anything, but they have to stay in Make business. Money. Yeah, you know they have and to. There's a lot of money involved in keeping this game running. If you think about it, they give you all the gems you could ever need because the longer you play, the more gems you get. Right, and they give you right. free gems for extra things all the time. Yeah, it just take you a while. That's all. And it's just it's not a game where they're going to give you everything for free right away because yeah, they need <clears> to make money. They yeah, need to be I able mean, to do the things that they need to do to make the game better and to improve your experience in the game. 
And, yeah. And, and if they take away the, the smite chest and they go to just direct purchase skins, you're not going to see a lot of people aren't going to get a lot of skins. And they're also they're just going to make expensive. the popular skins. It's just going to be the popular characters who are going to get the skins all the time. And they're going to be expensive. Yes. Like they're, they're, they've got to make up money somewhere. And in that, what used to be that $5 skin is going to be a $10 skin. What used to be that loot box skin that you would have got for your like 15 or whatever monthly sub is going to be a 15 or $20 one skin. Yeah. Like I can understand they need to make money on the chest, but some of the filler and themes they throw yeah. in there just makes no sense. Arachne just had her little cutesy skin. She got her, yes. her very own chest for it. And it's yeah. got like just crazy <sighs> nonsense that has nothing to do with her with it. <laughs> that theme. Like why isn't she just in the adorable chest with the other ones? And why the hell is Volcanic Agni in the adorable <laughs> chest? He is like yeah, the you ugliest know what? dude. I've seen some pretty funny fucking god skins in chess. Yeah. Yeah, they just put her in the cute seat. Like, what if they just went down? I mean, and this isn't, I guess it's getting a little off topic. I think they should go down on the number of chests they have and con condense it. I mean, like, yeah, right. It should be in the cutesy chest. She came out, the cutesy chest should mm -hmm. be out. And I don't think direct purchase skins should be in chests because it's like you get a chest, you want to be happy about it, right? But you get right. to some of these ones that got like 60 items. And I know they've made some adjustments, but. How many it's times better. have you gone through everything and the one skin you want is the very last item? By then, hmm. you're beyond oh, wow. pissed. You don't even want it anymore. You're just in so deep that you finish it. <laughs> so you don't yeah, have to deal with the next item. That's kind of one of the things they're saying. is it, it, They're kind of linking it to gambling in that... It's the dopamine response. There's yeah, actually... There's a really good... Uh, it's the euphoria you experience. Yeah, th there's a, a YouTube channel that... Some people probably know, some may not, uh, called um, uh, Game Theory. And on Game Theory, they, they did cover this quite a while ago. And they go into, like, the science of it. And it's not just, oh, here's the topic, but the science, how it works. And, and it's, it is. It is. It is because it's because it's random. Even though high is good about letting you see everything that's in the chest, it's not behind a wall. But it is still technically the same thing. <laughs> So I don't know, um, but I, mean, I kind of equate it to like opening up a pack of baseball cards. Don't uh, know what you're gonna get in it. Yeah, and like yeah they're opening ma magic cards or which which was a thing at one point. That was a thing for a while where they, they were breathing down uh, magic about that. Yeah, I mean you gotta think if if and it's a and it's a downhill slope. So if we do loot boxes, well that means they can go after any collectible card, TCG, blah blah blah. I mean, in that case, do they start taxing and finding? Can kids not not use the little? Nobody does this anymore, but the little like junky toy vending machine in the front of a grocery store now. You don't mm -hmm. know what you're still getting. See them, believe me, they still have them. Yeah, the kids yeah. are still screaming and crying, wanting damn quarters. Right, but now, but now they, but now they couldn't because they're not eighteen and it's gambling, right? I mean, it's the same, yeah. same thing. I just, yeah, it's, I feel if you stick to the theme, it's it's not as bad because. You might not get what you're after, but you're at least getting something similar along those lines that you still can yeah. feel satisfied with. Mm -hmm. Like there, there's ways to do it the same, but but differently. Um, you know, like another one with the, the triumphant and godlike chest that we get for wins every now and again. Yeah. Why does that have yeah. a million different flags in it for filler? Oh, I, I mean, that's all that's left in it for me is all right. the flag emotes. Well, th that's. That's because it's free. It, but still, like, I get repping your country. I mean, it's in my name. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go and be like, oh, I can't wait to unlock this Belgian flag to rock as my avatar. Because it's not where American? I'm from. I thought you were Canadian. Oh no! Wait, don't don't make me don't make me start using the Latvian flag. Right? <laughs> but like, you know, like if you're from that country and you want that, that just you know, go and dump whatever favor to get it and let the person have it. But all that other stuff. No one is opening that chest and being like, "Oh man, I'm happy I, you know, did I feel like I accomplished something with it." I'd Fuck rather just have the boosters. Koi, Give me the worshipper avatar. boosters. Fucking China flag oh, avatar, baby. Don't get me don't don't don't, don't, don't let me start on the boosters. Yeah. All right. Like I, I don't I don't want skin boosters. I don't want voice pack boosters. Well, I have I all want worshipper yeah. boosters. 
But I'll, I'll take worshiper boosters all day. I want worshiper boosters. And it's, it's the one I give Voice pack boosters yeah. are the worst. Did I never get worshiper boosters anymore? Yeah, never. Yeah, since they I since never they get worshiper it. boosters. I always get XP boosters. I'm level 156 high res. Fuck off. <laughs> like and, and I. That's the only thing that bugs me. Mm-hmm. I have no Smite. use for a voice pack spooker. I own every voice pack in Smite. <laughs> like yep. it doesn't, and I keep uh, getting too. them, and I can't do anything with them. And I just, I just and I know that we're kind of a chest. yeah, and we're kind of a use case scenario here. Well, I'll, you know, a lot of us here have, have pretty much everything. Like, yeah. it's like whatever's going to come out in the Odyssey chest this year. That's all I've got to do to get mm-hmm. it, to get them. I wish I was and, in that place, but I will be soon enough, and that's the sad part. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And 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 to be fair, with the exception of the skins that are only ever going to be released once, the limited skins or whatever, everything is still attainable for free. Mm. Mm, Ish. Yeah, <laughs> There's an asterisk there. Uh, it's very with, a, with enough with three thousand one hundred and twenty-ish hours invested in this game. I've I've gotten a lot of like uh there are skins that I've not even seen for purchase since I've been playing. Mm-hmm. And I've been able to get them. Like the, the insta-kill Neath, until they started the daily bundle thing, I never saw it for sale. But also, I got it for free out of a, a chest somewhere. Um, mm-hmm. like the, And I've and it, it, it does not appear in any chest that I've ever seen, you know, of your normal... It never pops up in a cutesy chest or a America chest or a whatever chest. Was that the... Is insta-kill the one where, like, you subscribe to their Facebook page or whatever? No, no, it was for like Instagram or something like that. Oh, okay. But one of the social media. Yeah, from like pre PlayStation launch. Have they done a direct purchase skin yet this year that isn't tied to a bundle? Um, let me think. Uh, Still waiting on that tier two tier skin. I don't think they have. I think the last yeah. one we got was the Vulcan skin, maybe. The community yeah. one? Yeah. The I meatball guy? So. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any direct purchasable yeah. that we didn't, that wasn't part of a bundle. By the way, Hera got robbed when it comes to community skins this year. I'm just saying. Oh, right. got robbed. Got robbed. I mean, to be fair with the direct purchase, like if if you buy it, and, and this this is big because I've been playing since it launched on PlayStation, basically. But uh, with season three, the events weren't really worth it. Like you'd break the the events. At least, you get a lot of stuff in the events mm-hmm. for nine hundred gems now. Yeah, their I bundles mean, kill with, it. Like they're really good. Yeah, and the daily bundle. If if you're patient with the daily bundles, you can get three killer skins. Yeah, yeah. I've had it where I was saving like eighteen hundred gems. Yeah, and yeah. Like that's, I mean, so that's a lot. Yeah, and so as far as is is it gambling? I mean, everyone's gonna have their opinions. I mean, I technically, I would, I even though I'm like, no, nah, I think, I think the, I think non-competitive microtransactions are fine. Or if if it's just cosmetic, and it doesn't affect your gameplay, then it doesn't matter. But technically, I I do technically think it's gambling. Now, if it's gambling, if you if you say it's gambling, we we have to use. It's not like we we don't pay cash to buy gems unless you go to the store and get like the gift card, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so you're not, and you're supposed to be 18 if you're using a credit card online. I mean, t- if it's got your name on right. it and stuff. So, yeah. does it really fall like into that gambling category? Because if a kid's doing it, they're not old enough to have that information well, anyway, and it's kind of parents mm-hmm. failing to let no, by letting no, them do no. it. <laughs> yeah, now, now we're talking about you can't blame the parents. I mean, oh, I'm a parent. Oh, I blame gonna, myself all the time. Hold on, hold on. I'm about to say, I buy her gems to spin on whatever he wants to. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. well, I'm, I'm, it's what I'm about to say. Like, can piss some people off. It's not the fucking government's job to take care of your kids. Mm-hmm. If you don't want them to buy that game, I'm sorry. It started with the ESRB bullshit, and it's always rolled downhill from there. Fucking V chips and TVs. And know what your kids are doing. Like, if they're yes. buying something, if they're buying, if you're buying them a game, mm-hmm. I mean, like pre ESRB, Mortal Kombat is the whole reason the ESRB started. Basically, um, it says Mortal Kombat on the front. There's fighter dudes. Mm, I think my ESRB is the government had nothing to do with that. 
But you see, video game industry to decided to do something before control. Yeah. they tried to get involved in it. Yeah, so if, they your ki- it yeah, if your kids are buying gems, hopefully you know about it. If you don't, that's, uh, that's your problem. Everybody else. But and and when we're talking when we're talking legally about gambling, um, the way in some countries and other places where this this discussion's already come and passed and decisions have been made is you always get something. Yeah. Now they might require an adjustment where either game companies are going to adjust the cost of items that you can buy or restructure a little bit. Like if you're rolling a 400 gem chest, no skin should be below 200 gems. Nothing in the chest should be below 400 gem value. Right. That way, no matter what you do, you're buying a 400 gem item. Mm-hmm. And we yeah, can all except thank you buy EA a chest and you get uh, an item that you could get for twenty three hundred favor. Yeah, that's yeah. Fucking feels bad as well, hell. Hold on, so the the favor purchasable skins are also what two hundred gems? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, but they no, I'm talking about like an avatar or a flag. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. can get those and emotes. Emotes are twenty three seventy five favor each. Mm-hmm. So or word skins started... you never knew existed. Yeah. Yeah. So like um, I I have been going through and buying all the dumb shit that I can with favor because I'm tired of it. Yeah. yeah. When was there a baklava ward skin? Yeah. Like I got a cat in a box the other day. I was Yo. Like, what the? <laughs> Hold up. I got a th- I got a I got a three D file for my three D printer of the cat in the box uh, uh box cat ward. Yeah. I'm totally printing a box cat ward. <laughs> That's my fav- um, that is my favorite ward skin. My oh. favorite ward skin that I've ever gotten just randomly and been like, what the fuck was the one-legged black kid with the pipe? Oh, Hockey. yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the literal fuck did I need this for? Yeah. I think I'm what using the squid. Provide? The squid. Yeah. I always so, use mini fire giant because he's adorable. And for I, yeah, I that's I probably my favorite mini right? fire giant. So if you're going to, if you're going to, if it's going to be ruled as gambling, that's a, I, I really do def- think the problem there is it also depends on the company because this guy brought up EA. Fuck you, EA. Nobody likes you. They're the ones that really brought up this whole shit storm to begin with with oh, Star Wars cr- Battlefront 2. That's where all this yeah. has really come from. Yeah. Well, that's what, I think that's what brought it to everyone's attention. Yeah, right. I mean, they didn't do anything that a hundred of, hundreds of other companies are doing. I mean, how many crap oh, mobile games? Oh, man, I don't know. EA Games are that surviving. Was a dirty off. fucking deal, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty dirty is. deal. I I've seen way worse than what EA did, and it, it's if people are willing. I mean, none of this would take off if people weren't willing to spend it. You know. It, yeah, but same with gambling. If there's a market, that's kind of what happened to EA. Nobody it. was willing to spend it, so everybody well, boycotted the game and they changed it hours before it was released because it was going to be such a shit show. Now, they, then I heard they lost the Star Wars. Yep. Yes. Then it cost them Star Wars. Yep. Which is. Billions of dollars. So, if if you look at the definition of gambling is you don't know if you're getting anything or not. Because that's the whole thing of gambling. Either I'm going to lose money or win money. Mm-hmm. Or lose a thing or win a thing. Then loot boxes aren't technically gambling. I think, like, if I were writing the law, I would say it's not gambling, but it's close enough. And you, if it's, and you have to get monetary value. So you can't spend twenty dollars and not get twenty dollar it twenty dollar value, and, and this is still problematic because when you look at trading card games, which are in a weird spot, I don't know because uh, people that's are kind of like, weird because well, they, they fluctuate as the game changes. Right, because there's a too. market. There's a market. And there's actually worth value. Anything you buy in Smite is not worth anything to anybody other than you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not like they have an inventory can't do anything items. with it. That's yeah, kind of what I was going to just say at the end is like, that's my overarching opinion. Smite skins, smite gems, smite, smite everything means nothing. It's pixels on a screen. So it's yeah, not gambling but, at all. It's your own the, stupidity the, giving right, into it. But the game developer it assigns a value to all the items. So a, a chest that costs $5 per roll should have nothing of value less than $5. Yeah, I and mean, then is, I and then is it gambling? Morally. And then is it gambling? Or is it just I'm buying a grab bag of yeah. skin? And they technically, if you go to the store, you got all them little tiny figures in a bag where you get the random. Like it's mm-hmm. not any different than that. And we've been doing right, that for years, just like with you guys said with the baseball cards. So yeah, because you're getting 
you're every time you buy you're getting a thing and then the whole it's digital thing comes down to it and i think if they rule that it's gambling because you're not physically getting something we need to talk to fucking every digital content game provider cuz steam xbox playstation when you buy a digital copy of a game you don't own the game mm-hmm. it's a lease yeah. And it's a shit ball sometimes, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you lose your internet service, you can't play the game because you can't get your license agreement. Or the console generation changes. <laughs> so you can't play it. Yeah. Or, yeah, the console so, version changes. I love that. Yeah. So at that point, I mean, and that's kind of the same grade. When you're talking, and this is where it's such a big thing is we're not just talking about, we're talking about loot boxes as the prime example of some shady shit going on, EA. But it's. It's all of it, man. Like it's it's this is this is more of a conversation about digital content value. And it's like we to bring it back to what we said about, you know, high res has to make money. They they've been killing it on the skins. They sell like crazy. But it's not like they're making an inventory of these things to sell to us. They you know, they pay whatever people are involved in making it and, and stuff like that, but I mean, how many skins do you have to sell of a direct purchase skin to cover all that? Right. I mean, and like you take, uh, what's a box skin? Yeah, I mean, there's a million of them, but like I'm, I'm just gonna use belly aching mirror. I don't know if I think it was in a bundle, but I'm not sure. But I mean, that's a skin people jump all over for. Mm-hmm. If it was you know straight up direct purchase, you're gonna sell a um, tons of them. How many people don't mm-hmm. jump in because they don't want to go through the rigmarole of opening 50 million chests to maybe get that one item. I mean, I, know I never that. get skin chests, chest skins ever. You know? It's always disappointing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know a guy that maxed out a chest of like, I think it was like 55 items back when it was a thing to get that green nuclear winter Ymir. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a green recolor. It has no business being in a chest. Like half of your mirror skins have no business being in a chest. But <laughs> the worst was like, like maxing out a fifty-five to get yeah. something, and then, and like then a week later they drop a chest with six and it's in it. And then yeah, a couple week, for this? a couple weeks later, daily bundles came out. I got I got <laughs> yeah. nuclear winter Ymir in my bundle for six hundred and fifty gems. He quit Smite the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready for this? This this is interesting. Um. Uh, so this is this was an article I looked up because I from Polygon because I I I I had to know this because it it got implanted in my brain. Um, Kim Swift is a port was a portal developer, so she worked on Portal, Left 4 Dead, Quantum Conundrum. Right? It costs studios, it costs their studio, an average eighty thousand dollars to make a character model. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that sounds total, about right. She rec- and it says Swift reckon on the total salary cost for a character model to be forty six point five k. Dang, it's pretty. Yeah, big it ain't cheap. I mean, it, it costs a lot of money to run a company, especially one like that. Yeah, yeah, because you got to think you about get the voice workstation. Actors, you have to get the specialized licensing. Yep. Yeah. If <laughs> Everything. You need it. Yeah. The artwork, specialized the animation, specialized hardware, artwork, you have to animation. Pay all the employees and think how much <laughs> money those employees are making. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious to see the numbers on. I mean, I know that'll never be released, but just you know, I don't. I, I I'm iffy on some loot box things, but I do understand why it's a thing. I mean, I most of mine are like two or three from Max anyway. I definitely dump money in Smite, but right, I've been playing. Like- I've been playing this game for years at this. Like no other yeah. game holds me this long. Oh, I'm the same so way. I, I can, and then the question becomes: How much? How much would? It, how many? Players would they lose if they went to a monthly subscription? Let's say they made all skins available mm-hmm. for favor only, but changed the game to a monthly subscription. Right? How how many people? How many people play Smite on a fairly regular basis, but don't spend a fairly regular amount of money? Exactly. Well, and a lot of people once you get that one skin for that god, you're good. Like you don't mess with them again because you're happy with that one. Right, right. And then you got people like us that like wail out all the time, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, "I need twelve skins for this character, and I can only have." And know. then play the one that I got for yeah. free. <laughs> yeah, it was literally yeah. my conundrum yesterday. I was like, "I'm looking. I'm like, I bought a bunch mm-hmm. of gems. I'm like, man, what do I want to spend some gems on? I'm like, oh, Council of the Gods. I haven't bought any of those skins. 
Yeah. Because yeah. literally, I don't play any of those characters. I mean, it, it's a but point. I bought them anyways because I'm a fucking whale. Yeah. I want a random button. As stupid as it would be, I just you know, I have enough skins. I like I want to mix it up every now and again, but yeah. I find myself yeah. always picking the same one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like all the Athena skins, I still half the time play just the Red Star. <laughs> uh, Beagle gets really mad at me because I never play my Uler T5. Yeah, T5 like, yeah. You I play cool Survivor Man, and the most like <laughs> basic looking one. Yeah, yeah, like what the heck? Like, but that's because uh, it's so precise. That's why it's so good. But yeah. but I also get like I don't know. Didn't you say it was because you know like some skins you it. You can't play right. It just, I can't it, play the older T5. You. The effects like, are too big for the for actual example, abilities, so it throws me off. Yeah, like, remember, I was so excited to finally get the base cannon neat skin, and I couldn't play it because I just kept missing everything, and I just couldn't play it. I couldn't hit mm. anything. More than usual, at least. Yeah, she barely <laughs> ever plays base cannon. I, I could say that. Well, sure. It about makes me sad. Like, that's 20, my about an hour skin. and 20 in, do we want to move on to the session? On the session here? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say something in leader chat like 20 minutes ago, and then I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, well, I think this was a healthy discussion. You know? It was a good discussion. I yeah, do. that was a I good mean, one. So that's why I kind of didn't want to interrupt it. Right. I was like, actually, let me give a, a shout out to Budget Arcade, because uh, I actually listened to an episode of them this week, and that's what their focus was on. So the shout boys. out to them guys. They got some good content. And for God's sakes, update the clan store chests. I need something oh to do with God. my friends. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I have something. Well, on you that. can't. Oh, we you have something. Wait, on we're going to yeah. all yes. say the same thing. Wait, Go ahead. You can <laughs> infinite buy one day boosters for 650 points. Yeah. I have no interest in that. I have. I want more shadow skins. No, no. I want. <laughs> I want. I want all. I want all God's diamond. Mm. So <laughs> running infinite boosters for free is really nice. Yeah. Hmm. yeah been, but they I've said some changes it. are coming to the clans. The, the clan. Yeah, I think it's a I'm trick. I think it's a trick to make you spend all your clan yeah. points. I'm keeping a good base. I have up to eleven days booster popped right now. But you can if you're if you're if you don't if you don't have any three day boosters and you want to you know run two or three days worth of boosters over a double or triple weekend to do some grinding. I Please. mean, <laughs> that's a deal. Yeah, I got about ten yeah. k. I'm sitting on. I haven't messed with. Yeah, I you know next double that comes out or triple just pop. You know, eighteen, basically two thousand into that, and you got three days <laughs> of boosters. Like, well, yep. What do you guys think about the um, inclusion of recolors of other purchased skins in these bundles, like that green Kernino skin? Oh, punch me in the freaking ass! <laughs> recolors, recolors. Yeah, like punch me right in where it hurts. I hate it. It makes my heart hurt. Yeah. When I have to pay money to get a skin I already have, yeah. but like yeah, it's that sucks. stigma, like I want to support you because I like you. Yeah, and that's so and that's, like, I think that's, that's it, how I look at it. Like, yeah. that's how I look at it, dude. I I spent I, I played this game for three years straight. I can buy a brand new game right now, and I'll play that shit for five minutes, and I'm going to be right back on Smite because it just don't hold my interest. Definitely. And, yeah, uh, there's very that's why I support high res because like I. I want them to stay around, so I don't mind supporting them yeah. for the game that I really love. I I, I think it's go ahead. been like two years since I started playing, if I remember correctly. Beagle only plays like every other day. I am except a, during except during the month. We're smiling and nodding because Beagle is quiet right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said like, eh. no, you're you're really quiet for some. Yeah, reason. you sound like you're talking from oh, down the I, hall. Yeah. I mean, I'm like sitting in a lower chair. My mic's on my PlayStation, but uh, okay. oh no! Oh I'm well, thinking... actually, I forgot. You guys can hear me on my phone, not my. Every mic, every time she cuts out, phone. she's actually swearing. Yeah, yes, that's exactly <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> I, th we're, I think we're we need to pitch Ashley's potty mouth now. <laughs> I, I think we need to pitch in and buy Beagle a cheap laptop. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that's right. I keep. Be I'm literally begging my dad like, every day, just buy me some cheap laptop. If, if you can would, go out one day and me, decide to buy a thousand dollar computer, you can buy me like a two three hundred dollar laptop. Like, get a I job. Just need it. Get, get a job. job. I do have a Beagle. job, kinda. Beagle? I do it promise you. <laughs> I do promise you. I'm looking for hand me down hardware all the time to build you something. <laughs> Damn, I might have an extra tower. <laughs> to be honest, a whole put together See, tower. 
what we'll we talk. need we'll see about doing some is cheap to get upgrades. Beagle a decent computer because God, I'm so tired of her bitching about her computer. <laughs> I wow. mean, she doesn't need a, she doesn't need a strong her. graphics card. I want card. her to be happy. I yeah, mean. She, doesn't need, she doesn't need a strong graphics card to start out. It just needs to be reasonably fast. No, it doesn't even need to be strong at all because my graphics card is total ass and it runs Smite at max. But she'll just stuff. fill it with supernatural memes. Right. That's what's wrong with the computer now. That's <laughs> oh, why I blew it's it up. Been, wow. It's possessed. <laughs> Baby derailed again. So she'll guys. Sprinkle, she'll sprinkle salt on that shit. <laughs> A circle of salt around her computer. Uh, I give her Put crap knowing trap full well. Hey, you guys can make fun of Dan now. He watches Supernatural too. Yep, I come home every morning from work and watch an episode of Supernatural. And I didn't even right make there. him. To be fair, I've been I watching Supernatural it. since the series premiere. So yeah, right I watched there with like you. the first season when it came out, and that was it. After that, yeah, I've been watching. See, look, since American day one. Zombies with us, Beagle, yeah, with you absolutely. at least. There you go. <laughs> I'm catching up. You're my favorite. See, I thought the first season was cool because they were like fighting monsters and shit, like. Yeah, when they went kind from of Creature monsters, of the, and then it went of the to like, Week was fun. Yeah, then it went to just like fighting demons and yeah. angels. I, and, guy, I uh, I refer to that as the X Files effect. When it that's comes what to I was TV just series. about to say, it was like the X Files. Well, it's the same people, and they did the yeah. same thing. It's hey, like I'm cool with it. All right, I liked the X Files. <laughs> so did I. Oh yeah, I love the X Files. New X Files <laughs> was good too. I'll, uh, all right, so <laughs> I'll do a, a split push confession right now. This is an exclusive. I actually named my cat Crowley. Yes. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if we ever get another cat, which I'm hoping doesn't happen, I want to name it Lucifer. That's just a cat name, I swear. Oh it's yeah, I heard you guys had a new black cat, cat running around. What? Uh, out front. <laughs> oh. I saw this black cat out front. I was like, guys, cat, we gotta adopt it. It's out front. Oh, no. We gotta adopt no. it, guys. We have I'm to save sure it. It's outdoors. It's in enough, danger. Okay? We have to save it. <laughs> Dan, I'm All pretty right. sure Mom already so, hates me enough for having five. We don't need anymore. Wait, I got on my microphone the other day and I like hopped into the party and like nobody's there and all I can hear is fucking cats in the background going. Rawr, rawr. Like what the fuck is going on? That's so great. I love it. Oh Mickey my god, I fight. remember that was the, the one time. Thing. Yuki right. was dying. Guys. Like, <laughs> that was funny. We, we we derailed really hard. We, we, we should I don't care. progression someday. We should totally move on. <laughs> so, <laughs> this week's session of progression is maybe or maybe not already covered, but we're doing it anyways because Dirtnap's dad isn't here and I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> we're doing Ymir. <laughs> He's gonna. I'm hate pretty sure we this. did him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done him before, but uh, I don't care. Because uh, I found some some more newly more released lore than the last time, so we're gonna bring that up. So Ymir is the Norse god of shit. Um, he's actually the planet. Um, he was the ruler of the giants till he he done got killed, um, and his corpse is the planet Earth. So just think about that. Don't ever walk around the South Pole. Um, but some of the new stuff that came out was some more recently obtained, and I by recently I mean it's been out for a while, but I just hadn't read it. Uh, Ymir, Ymir, contrary to uh, the game model, Ymir's a hermaphrodite. Hmm. So yeah, hmm. it's pretty fucking hilarious. Wow. Um, you I learn mean, things it, every day. It, <laughs> yeah, and I'm not knocking it because it is what it is. It's it's just it's funny. Just, I've never yeah, seen that like, before. You, you learn things every day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ymir actually has uh, another name in Old Norse poems, uh, which is uh, Argamale. Ar- Ooh, I don't know this one. I don't do Norse very well unless I've heard it pronounced. Argomir, uh, or Sand Slash Gravel Screamer. So he's basically the uh, he's the first giant. All giants in Norse mythology are descended from him, and his typical name, Ymir, is Screamer. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Wait, I isn't he place. Loki's dad in the Avengers? Uh, uh, not directly. Uh, but Ymir was born when fire from uh, Muspelheim and ice from Niflheim met in the abyss of that's a word. <laughs> Oof. Usually I'm pretty good with my pronunciations. That's a. Uh, uh, Gnungagop? Come on, spit it out. Dead Gnungagop. 
It looks like someone was trying to say Guinness and got really drunk at the end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Ymir uh, was suckled by a cow for, uh, for his nourishment when he was a baby. And when he slept, several other giants were conceived asexually in Ymir's hermaphrodic body and spontaneously Wait, sprang from his legs and sweat. He was suckled by a cow. Yes. And, and other giants sprang from his legs and sweat from his armpits. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's kind of a pimple god, right? He's, you know, we have. I was like, well, yeah, very similar. It's uh, he's these had the he didn't descend his kin through pimples, but through sweat. <laughs> okay. So if if Ymir ever decides to get, get back in the gym and and work on those abs, there's gonna be a lot of giants running around. Don't do it. <laughs> um, but most of our our knowledge for Ymir comes out of the uh, poetic Edda, which we brought before. Um, and Ymir was slewn and fashioned into the cosmos from his corpse. So that, that's Ymir. Well, what, what he's what he's mainly known for, though, is still in Dan's Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, it's if if you read the poetic Edda, um, it actually says, "And Ymir Dunstall that Pentacle." Gg. <laughs> that's how it's it's the, That's how it ends, like hundred percent. If you look yeah. up in the stars, there's a constellation of Ymir petting a beagle. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally there. It even yeah. spells out Beagle under the the constellation for Beagle. We you gotta use get, special like, VR glasses. To do though. art for that. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, Just so Ymir Dan, why don't... a little Beagle. Yeah, <laughs> be great. Ymir walking a Beagle. All so. right, let's take a look at this boy's abilities. His right, one he's... steel pentakill. kill. His yeah. two steel double kill. His three. His steel three wall off, wall off at wall off alloy uh, alloys get him killed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Ymir's passive is frostbite. All of Ymir's abilities that affect enemies apply a debuff to the enemy called frostbite. All of Ymir's basic attacks against the target afflicted to frostbite do ten thousand. I mean, one hundred percent more damage. Enemies afflicted by frostbite deal ten percent less damage. Lasts for four seconds. Frostbite damage bonus is one hundred percent. Basically, that means Amir two shots you with his club, so stay away. Oh, he's the worst. <laughs> yeah, don't forget the reduction. That's big. Uh, ice wall. Amir summons a wall made of ice. Who the hell would have known? And guess what? It's a wall, so you can't move through it unless you're special, like Mom. Or it's an ice cream sandwich from the best skin ever made. Yes, true. Uh, <laughs> lifetime scales from two <clears throat> to six seconds. One second every time you level it. Uh, his two glacial strike. Ymir smashes his club, doing damage to all enemies in front of him and slowing them. Applies frostbite. Smashes his club. That is the worst description I've ever heard for an ability. <laughs> smashes his club. Yeah, he just breaks it. That's it. That's what happens. All right, Iris. Let's fix that up. Come on, on the ground. Smashes his club on the ground, shooting spikes of ice. Come on, do something. Uh, 90 to 370 scaling plus 70% of your magical power. The slow is 35%. The slow duration is 4 seconds. Uh, Frost Breath. Ymir uses his breath to freeze enemies in blocks of ice doing damage and stunning them. Applies Frostbite. The damage is 50 to 210 plus 50% of your magical power. The stun scales from 1.25 to 2.25 seconds. Goes up 0.25 seconds every rank. And his ultimate ability, Shards of Ice, Emir begins to freeze the air around him, causing shards of ice to grow on his back and slowing enemies. After a three second channel, Emir erupts out of his frozen state, causing shards of ice to do damage to all enemies in his range. Applies Frostbite. Canceling the ability decreases the damage. Damage is 500 to 1100 plus 150% of your magical power. And the slow is 40%. And Good this ability God, is useless because everyone has a dash. Flash, like one. Like what? This ability was this ability must have been great as a guardian before everyone had a dash. It still is great. No, it's not. It's oh, terrible. No, it's I, 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 I hate it. I don't even take it. Um okay, so uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm 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 having I'm having a moment. So we just heard about the lore, how he like fucking asexually shoots babies out of his abs. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, is his does. alt him shooting his children at us? I mean, it's possible. Is he literally just ice jizzing all over us? <laughs> his oh, ultimate? <laughs> I jizz where I want to jizz. Like, I'm just saying that <laughs> that kind of really... matches up. And I'm like, man, they look, 
This, you this just lore, ruined the ice cream skin. Ultimate lore. No wonder you literally just ruined ultimate. the ice cream skin. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's getting edited out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we'll see. It explains the bite mark on the cookie, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Like that would explain him pulling an ice cream cone out of his ass at the beginning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that, that explains a lot. I, I played that skin for probably a month before I realized that's what he was doing with it. <laughs> it's I, like literally the first thing yeah. I noticed. I'm like, did he just pull an ice cream cone out of his ass? Yeah, <laughs> I saw him load in and I'm like, what the yeah. ass crack yeah. fucking club? That's great. <laughs> and I, the- I feel like Tina had something to do with that one. Oh yeah. When you're literally oh, yeah. smacking them with your ass. You ever get yeah. the feeling that Tina sneaks this stuff in without anybody knowing? <laughs> she does sometimes. sometimes. She yeah. with the I voice lines, one hundred percent. So, uh, how do how do we She's build like, animation team? Don't tell Ajax, but make Emir pull his cone out of his ass, <laughs> right? <laughs> It'll so be you, hilarious. So you, let's see. You start Soul Reaver on on him, right? One hundred percent. Uh, I usually start Bancroft's talent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I go Bancroft's uh, or tier two Bancroft sometimes uh, for fun. But uh, Ymir's uh, one of those guardians though that you can. I mean, you can really mix it up on him, and he's still gonna work. Like he's still gonna do Ymir things. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, he's just kind of an worse. asshole. But he's I mean, the terrifying thing in the world. Polly on on Ymir. I think everyone oh, yeah. knows how scary yeah, yeah, that can yeah. be. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it hurts. So realistically, <laughs> you start out with with your guardian's blessing, and go into like what typically like a sovereignty. Your your typical defense items, I would say, depending on the match, the game mode, uh, party, no, party. Fuck that! You go into a stone of binding and you freaking carry. Google. Yeah, the this this yeah. season, stone of binding is a really strong start on almost all of your guardians. Yep, hundred percent on the mirror though. You freeze them. They get the you get the pen, and then you hit yeah. them with the two. You keep the pen, and it refreshes. And you had the pen, so it does super damage. Yeah, yep. but so typically I like to start out with like a depending on the comp, a void stone. Uh, there's a lot of if it's heavy magical, but also um, I forgot the name purely of the fucking for item. the damage potential. <laughs> What's the the fucking item you just mentioned? <laughs> stone of binding, stone of binding into. Uh, Boots, void stone, and breastplate, or breastplate then void stone again, depending on the team comp, and that sets you up really good going into your mid game. You've got some health, you've got decent defenses, a little more damage, helping your mage out because mages are usually building pen a little after you can get your pen done. Um, so or they get their pen online and you're just doing super damage before everyone else's defenses really stack up and helping that mid game. Um, and then around then, I like to look at my situational items. Um, do I want to go a spear robe? <clears throat> they have a lot of CC. If we're really ahead, like a Soul Reaver, you know, East Aff, Polly, you know, look to finish it Polly off. Polly is my favorite fucking thing on Emir. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, uh, Relic Choices Blink is actually really strong because he doesn't have a way really to engage. Um, and just Blink's a good way to get up there and hit that freeze. Otherwise, you have to walk him down. <laughs> or um, even I roll them off. Yeah, but see, I like, but I like to save the wall for like if you get the freeze, it gives you a half a second to position that wall better and then to you can really ult. pin them in. Yeah, and then you can look the ult with the wall up, or your you know your team's doing their thing because they can't run away. I actually um, get I stopped buying blink in order to force myself to get better at placing my walls because I would have to rely on that to get in or do nothing. Right. Yeah, so, that's a good way to do that. Just really to kind of, I mean, it's little things like that I'd like to do to force myself to get better. Um, and now I get blank every game, but <laughs> just yeah. to put that in there, like <laughs> the wall is super good, especially for setting up your ultimate. Like you can get some real cheeky stuff. Oh yeah. Body blocking them in a, a corner with that wall if they, their jump is down. Yeah, and, yeah, and there's the, the mythical Kabrak and Ymir wall combo. Walk need to be your best friend or your worst freaking nightmare, I'll tell you. Yeah, I mean, I've killed yeah. some friends. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Thorwall. Thorwall. I love killing Yuki with Thorwall. Oh, oh my God. God. We had a game the other day, and like, I don't even know how many times I heard, Fucking wall! Fucking was, wall! Though. I think that was either Bacon or Herg, wasn't it? It was Bacon playing Thor. 
Oh, right. <laughs> it's like, God damn it, Megan. He was dead. <laughs> but, you know, and that's, it is what it is. I think Ymir's Wall is really strong. Um, especially in Conquest, where you've got a lot of jungle. Um, it, it shines there. In, in Joust and in the other game modes, there's less jungle. It's not as big. Um, um, for Siege, it's pretty strong, too. There's a lot of jungle in Siege. Um, but, you know, uh, you're leveling. Typically, you're going to level your... Look at the numbers. Your two? Okay, you level your two first for the clear. Then you level your three, and then your, then your one. And that's... Um, after I've got those three abilities, I start leveling the the three. I want to max out that stun duration as much as possible. Um, the ult's still good, even though I make fun of it. Uh, if you can, if the team's playing right, you can really, you know, sit some people in there and do some huge damage mm. on a full defense. But I mean, uh, eleven hundred base is nothing to laugh at. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being a mid laner, you mirror jungle, and he blinks in under your tower. And fucking kills you instantly. <laughs> yep. Yeah, all of his damage has good scaling and good dam- and good base damage. I mean, Glacial Strike, 370 at rank 5 is 70%. Yeah, uh, I leveled this two three. first because it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're in a support role, the having that longer freeze... I don't care about makes... being support. I carry a support. <laughs> That's how I play support. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, no, I, I don't know if, game, if this, like... I don't know if people have realized this about me or not, but I'm aggressive and I play aggressive, whether it's for fun or because we're losing, or because we're winning, I'm still going to play aggressive, because there is no... I'm playing the game for fun, and I'm not just going to stand still and like, okay, here comes a minion wave. Shoot, <laughs> shoot, shoot. I'm not going to do it. I will go out there and play anyway, because I just want to have fun. No. How Dan picks the support role and like runs away from us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's up there like, killing them in the jungle, fighting them in the jungle. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I, I, I kind of feel bad. He's 1v3, and I can't believe I just died. What the fuck? Yep. <laughs> yep, I can't <clears throat> believe you died either, Dan. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, Ymir's a solid guardian. Um, I mean, he's just, he's always kind of around. He's never bad. Yeah. I use him uh, a lot in duel. Um, yeah. Oh, my God, I've Rain. Got, Shut got up, inspired. Rain. Stop it, Rain. <laughs> <laughs> inspired by uh the the great defined pride's brother i'm switching that for him should have been an olympian just saying oh, um, <laughs> hat master, yeah hat master um yeah i i love that meme he, that they were posting about his hat master's brother like i was crying <laughs> laughing at that one day um yeah. oh let's give a shout out to defined pride he finally got that pentakill this week yeah Did he? Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was he, you know, it's happened, I happened to be watching it as he hit it too. Oh, was he screaming like, in between matches? Yeah. Oh, he was screaming and just going. Oh. He was almost crying. I swear he. Almost, I swear he had tears in his he had eyes. Oh, uh, now I have to go try and watch it. See if oh, I, can find I went back and watched it. It was it was beautiful. Oh, uh, yeah. I so, still uh, haven't got my pens. I've been playing since like season two. I think I finally really? have. Yeah. I, I always get the quadra, and then somebody just comes in there and beagles <laughs> and me. Bops them. Yeah, I, I have gives them the full beagle. I think. So. Hey. <laughs> I, I had one. I had it on Wukong, dead to rights, the other day. Like, and I just nope. Anubis just ulted and hit him with the tip of the laser, and I didn't get it. I was furious. I bought through my controller. <laughs> <laughs> curses! 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 Please, yeah. Please, <laughs> like. Right. I don't want to BM you, but I kind of want to BM you right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, favorite skins? Belly We all know. Yeah, Belly Oh, yeah, we already know Belly <laughs> I mean, Baron <laughs> Rothschild's good. Cacodemons are cool. Uh, uh, the the new Titan Forge is sick as hell. We all know it. Is it um, does that yeah. seem bigger than the other skin? Yeah. Like, I feel like I can't see anything. Yeah, right I, I feel like it is bigger. I also. feel yeah. like they've been going bigger with a lot of their skins yeah. recently. I mean, I'm yeah. all for it because he's supposed to be huge, but same time. I still like. Uh, but now he's small because Jormungandr's here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing's big. Well, he he is in the running for that T5 skin still, right? Yeah, he might get tier 5. I still like the Crystal Colossus skin. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed yeah, that. On that one. He's got a lot of good skins. And then a lot of recolors. 
Mm-hmm. Cost people hundreds of dollars for no reason. Uh, uh, I mean, Digimir, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Digimir. So Digimir Code Demon, cool. the, the, the PS4 Demon. exclusive one, that was cool. Yeah, well, there's what four of them. There's there's the original, then there's X, and then there's the one for the Kako Demon C4 for uh, PlayStation. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous. I didn't get that one. <laughs> I'm an Xbox guy. Yeah, but you got crossplay. We didn't. No. So. Yeah, did you have to bring it up? Did you have to shame? <laughs> yeah. Why would you bring shame upon our family? I yeah, that's <sighs> yeah. I hope I mean, that I have, changes, an X- but... I have an Xbox also, so we need to get together and play anyway. So. Oh, for sure. I have PC, I'll so I'll hop on with you guys. Yeah, we can get Dan in there with us. Yeah, get I can get on download on his PC. And... Yeah. yeah, we need to just get like. The masses to harass whoever we need to to get that crossplay thing to happen. Oh no, the the post had like 10k. Did it? How many more would you? Yeah, we've been trying. PlayStation (laughs) doesn't give a shit. It doesn't. They're. It. This is our sandbox. High res isn't paying them enough. Basically, is what I think it is. Fortnite has it. Yeah, just saying. And I heard, yeah, Fortnite. we're not talking. I'm not talking Fortnite. Screw that. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh, yeah, yep. it's I, and it's weird because I have quite a few PlayStation people that show up and they they want to play with us, you know. And it's just Sony being yeah. Sony, I guess. I don't know. It's exactly mm-hmm. what it is. Put the doors on the playground. Not allowed to play with anybody else. Yeah, I mean, there's like Rocket League has crossplay. Is Fortnite it, has crossplay. Is Rocket yeah. Play even like, like? Is that still a big deal? Oh yeah, I guess so. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's free on Game Pass. So I wasn't sure if it was still, yeah, still going strong still or not. A big deal. Yeah, they're coming yeah. out with like this kind of like a new basketball game mode or something too. Oh jeez. Wait, it's all thirty. Yeah, well, that, uh, that kind of wraps us up for the day, don't it? Uh, I believe. I believe wrap so. Us up yeah. For the day. Um, I'm I'm gonna put a little addendum here to our conversation. Um. Reach, reach out to your local slime bag. I mean, politician. Um, well, and seriously, it, I mean, if I'm I'm concerned, they're gonna hurt the game industry, especially for these small developers. And high res still is a small developer, but they're growing really fast. Um, I'm concerned that microtransactions need to be reined in a bit as far as what is and isn't acceptable. Um. And I don't think high res crosses that line. Some of the pricing's a little sketchy. Um, as far as like, you know, cheaper value skins in chess with higher value skins. Um, but all of all of that kind of opinionation aside, um look look around for for you know, your petitions going around in your area or online. You know, message your local politician. Let them know, you know, that we're we're not a small population anymore we're not we're not a group of five-year-olds anymore we're not you know we're not 10-year-olds on a nintendo we've got beautiful computers and playstations and xboxes nintendo switches you know we we have a voice and there's enough of us if we speak up we can make sure that it's taken care of and handled appropriately so that i'm i mean and i and i genuinely mean that from the like if they just say 100% it's gambling, it's it's going to hurt small developers a lot. Oh, it's going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to hurt everybody, so, to be fair. We don't want the government in our gaming gonna have to change what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. So, and that change you, might not be a good thing. Like, yeah. A lot so of people you, look at it and say, voice. if it's, you know, they're upset because they didn't get what they want, so they're going to try to, yeah, it's gambling, take it out, but that doesn't mean it's going to get better. That means your direct purchase skins will probably skyrocket Yeah. in price. 100%. So, you know, go out there, do what you can. Be a citizen of your country. And if you're if you're in a country that's already been affected, this isn't a conversation, um, oh. you know, do do your part too. I mean, wherever you are, you know, take take help take control of regulations on an industry that produces the thing we love. I mean, I've yeah, never played a game. I don't need you regulating my tonight. hobby. Thank you, though. Yeah. <laughs> So get out there and uh, we'll go around the table here. Uh, American Zombie, uh, where can we get a hold of you? Where can we see you stream? Um, where can we 
watch her run over small children with a car and cackle. <laughs> uh, well, my stream is at mixer.com slash American underscore zombie. American is M U R I C A N. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter, just American Zombie. I'm on there every day, stream uh, at least five days a week, sometimes on the weekends. He's always on. He's fun to watch. I've, I've, I've sneaker watched him sometimes. The lurkers are out there. <laughs> I sneak watch a lot of people and then other people I'm like super active in the chat. <laughs> yeah, it's, it depends on the day. Yeah. The the chat yeah. the chat interaction is uh the best part of streaming. I mean I'm I'm playing with my friends and stuff, but just talking to people in chat is one of the the big highlights that want, makes me want to do it more. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Dan, where can we find you? You can find me on the PlayStation at Dirt X Nap X Dan, PlayStation Island. You can find me on Crossplay Continent, uh, Dirt Nap Dan with no X's. And the official Twitter for Split Push Podcast is at Split Push Podcast with no A. Stupid. We ain't messing with no Canadians, eh? Nope. You betcha. A. Beagle? You betcha. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Beagle underscore girl 27 or PlayStation at Beagle underscore girl 2780. All right, guy. <clears throat> you can find me on Twitter at G Smitey. You can find me on PlayStation at Guy All Smitey with an underscore at the end. And you can find me on all other platforms at just Guy All Smitey. All right. You can find me at Ryukutsu underscore Yuki on PlayStation. I don't even remember on PC. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I'm thinking, pretty sure it's Yuki Gaming 22 for place, uh, for. Would you PC. say Get Jiggy Gaming? Yuki Gaming 22. Oh, yeah, oh. Totally 90s, getting jiggy with it, all right? Mm, okay. <laughs> and find me on, on Twitter at Yuki Gaming 22. Um, if you're not a member of the Discord, uh, we talk. We say good morning every morning. So, you know, at the very least, you'll hear us say what's up. Uh, American Zombie won't stop talking. Oh, all the time. On uh, Discord, all the time. It's great. Yep. Uh, Herg be his and, Discord. Yep, Herg and... Herg and Vigo, Vio and Estenos dropping the memes all the time. Um, and, you know, if you're having a hard time finding us, if you had to go through a different platform, we just changed uh, providers on our end for uploading the podcast. Let us know so we can get all those links back in 100%. Uh, there's been a couple of issues as far as getting things linked. Uh, I think I got them all sorted out. But, you know, let us know up on Twitter snail mail i mean really however so we can get that back to you on your preferred platform and remember fuck the dirt naps because you gotta you know give them before you take them and when all else fails split push